What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a method we can use in order to take parts of a model and make them color while we take other parts and make them more black and white to make part of your model stand out. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, and so SketchUp styles are one of the more powerful things about the visibilities in their program, right? Because you can take those styles um, over here in your uh, toolbar and change the way that your model looks, right? You can make things black and white, you can make it shaded with textures, um, you can make it so that it has a green ground behind it. There's a lot of different options for changing the way this looks. But there's nothing in here that allows us to make part of a model look different than the rest of a model. So what we need to do for that is we need to use a photo editing software. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this on PhotoP, um, just because it's free. Um, it's gonna be pretty much exactly the same if you use like a Photoshop or something like that. But what we wanna do is we wanna create a couple different views of our model. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna pick our camera location. And what I'm doing is I'm using this model from the 3D warehouse. It's the Urban Planning Model by Flashy G, if you wanna download it and follow along. And what I've got is I've got this broken up into a few different buildings, right? And so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a scene like this one right here um, with the overall style that I want for my background. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my background and I'm gonna change it over to Hidden Line Style. And probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add profiles I'm gonna set my profiles to two so that I've got some line weight in here. I'm also gonna turn the model axes off. And we might actually add a little bit of fog in here as well. Um, so if you don't see fog, you can go to window, default tray, fog, and you can click on that in order to make that show up. And I just wanna change the distance so the fog is behind my first building because my first building is the one that I want to uh, kind of highlight. Right, so I'm gonna take this and move this back just a little bit. So notice how just these buildings kind of have the fog applied to them. And I might toggle off my background color and use maybe like more of a white, or we could also use a darker material in order to add some darker fog in here. We're gonna keep it pretty light for what we're doing right here, right? But then once we've got this kind of the way we want it to look with our background, we're gonna go to view, animation, and we're gonna add a scene. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to update the selected style. That's gonna go in here and apply the changes that we made right here. So now we have our first view. Now we wanna create our second view, which is going to have this as a color image. So to do that, I'm gonna add a new scene. And one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure these have the exact same camera location when you do this, otherwise things aren't gonna line up in your photo editing software. But what I wanna do is I'm going to just click in here and I can go ahead and toggle the fog off in this view. And I'm just going to click on the building I wanna keep and then I'm gonna do a shift and I'm gonna click and drag. That's gonna deselect everything I had selected and select everything that I didn't. But now if I click in here, right, and I go to this scene, I can right click and I can do a hide. And so what I've done is I've gotten rid of the building in the background in this scene. And I'm gonna go ahead and update this scene. So now, Notice how I can toggle back and forth between them. And in this case, I don't want fog and I want this building to have a regular style. So maybe something like this, my architectural design style right here. And we can go ahead and make some changes to that style like toggling the axes off. If we wanted to, we could add some jitter to our lines to make things look a little bit sketchy. That's kind of a style decision. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but you don't have to. The other thing we wanna do that's gonna be fairly important is we wanna turn the sky off. So we just want the background to be a color like this. It doesn't really matter what the color is, we just want it to be a color so that um, the sky doesn't get exported when you export this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in here to update this, and then we're gonna right click and we're gonna update this scene. So now, if I toggle back and forth between them, notice how I have one scene where my lines are kind of jittery and I have colors and I have this other scene where everything is just black and white, right? And for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave this visible in the other scene. We may need to hide it. Um, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. So we're just gonna leave it as is for right now. But now I've got these two scenes and I wanna export them. So I'm just gonna go to File, Export, 2D Graphic. And for the first one, we're just gonna call this urban planning background. We wanna go into our options. We wanna to toggle off transparent background for our background, right? Cause this is gonna go behind everything. 
So we're gonna export that image. So now I'm gonna go over into Photo P and I'm going to click on the option for Open From Computer. And we're gonna find that background and double click on it like this. That's going to open that image in Photo P, right? So now this image is in here. Okay, so now we need the image that's going to stack on top of this. So I'm gonna go back over into SketchUp, I'm gonna go to my second scene, and I'm gonna do a file export 2D graphic. And in this case, what we wanna do is we wanna export this as urban planning building. And for this one, we wanna go into our options, and this is only gonna show up if you select a PNG, by the way, but you wanna go into your options and you wanna check the box for transparent background. We're gonna click on OK, and we're gonna click on export. These should be exactly the same size because we have our window the same size here, and it should have the exact same camera, so it should stack over top of this nicely. So now, I'm gonna go back into Photopea, and we're gonna do a file, open in place, and we're going to select our building right here. Well, notice how our building is going to sit right on top of this right here. So what that does is that gives us the ability to quickly place our building over top of our background. And so one thing you might have noticed is down here we've got an issue where our road is behind the ground. It's right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to toggle this image off for a second. And what we need to do is we need to mask out or hide this overlap area right here. That's actually pretty easy to do because we can go into our background image right here and we can use one of the tools. So maybe like the, um, probably the polygonal lasso select. And what we can do is we can select that area and apply a mask to hide what's in there. So all I'm doing is I'm just clicking in here in order to get a selection like this. Right, And it doesn't really matter where we go from here. We're just gonna click over here. We're just gonna select this area. So notice how we have this lasso selection right here. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna add a layer mask, but we don't wanna add a layer mask to this because we don't wanna hide this road. We wanna add a layer mask, which is basically something that makes it so Photo P hides something on a layer. And we wanna add that to this view right here. Well, now that we've selected this, we can toggle this view back on and we can click on this layer. Notice how that selection is still showing up in here. Well, you can just come over here to this button right here and you can click on add raster mask. Notice what that does is that masks everything out that isn't in that area. And so that's not quite what we want. So we wanna double click on this and that's gonna pop out a little window right here. And notice how there's an option here for invert. So when we click on invert, what that's gonna do is that's gonna flip this so that um, the stuff that was in the selection right here is getting masked out and everything else isn't. So now we've got this nice image where we've got colors emphasizing a part of our model, but not the other part, with very little work from us inside of SketchUp and our photo editing software. From there, you could take this and you could do a file export. You could export this as an image type if you wanted to do that. All right, so obviously we could get way more in depth with this, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What did you think about this video? Was it helpful? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.